I am super excited to be here today as the moderator for the ModSquadChallenge.com. The sponsor for the Mod Squad Challenge this time is Kitchen Sink Stamps. I'm going to be using the Snowy Cabin Multi-Layering Stamp Set by Kitchen Sink Stamps. Let's get my stamp set is very well loved, as you can tell. We're going to look here at the stamp alignment guide. Each stamp set that you purchase from Kitchen Sink Stamp comes with a stamp alignment guide. I printed mine off from their website, so mine is larger. It's 8 by 10. This is the color recipe guide, also available at the website, and I printed this off on my own printer. I'm going to be putting these in a binder with the rest of my stamp alignment guides and color recipe guides. I'm using Alt New Espresso for my first layer. This is the most detailed layer. I'm stamping in reverse order. So this is number four and it provides a great amount of detail for the cabin. My second layer, I'm using an Alt New Dye Mocha, and this is from the Coffee Break set from Alt New. Okay. It's coming together nicely, really showing a lot of great details. That's what's so nice about the Kitchen Sink Stamp line, is the amount of detail that you get. I'm lining up the last layer of the cabin. I'm going to be using Rocky Shores for this last layer, as well as a gray ink called Silver Lake from Alta New. And I'm applying the Rocky Shore over the entire stamp, and then the Silver Lake just along the chimney. That gives it a look of stone. Now we have our log cabin stamped with Espresso, Mocha, and Rocky Shores from Memento. Now we have also used the Silver Lake for the rock chimney of the log cabin. Now we're going to concentrate on the roof and I'm using two colors of Memento ink for my roof, Summer Sky and Gray Flannel. I stamped the roof with Summer Sky stamping off once. What that means is stamping off on a piece of paper once to lighten your ink. But I felt it might have been just a little bit too light, so I'm going to go back in with the summer sky, stamp off, and then stamp to my paper um, that I'm using for my panel. And I think that gives a nice detail. Taking the next layer, and I'm going to be using gray flannel from Memento, and I'm going to stamp off once and then stamp onto the panel. Stamping off is a great technique. If you don't have that many inks, you can stamp off between layers, giving you a wider range of ink colors. There's a little reef that you line up against the door jam, and I'm going to be stamping that in Cottage Ivy. Memento Cottage Ivy. Okay, our cabin is done. Now we can stamp some trees. This first tree, I'm going to be stamping in our mo mocha from Alt New. And then I'm going to put it back in my stamp position or move it over a little bit and use Espresso. So I'm stamping with the lightest trees in the background and the darker trees in the foreground. And this is going to produce some depth. And I stamped two trees in Espresso and the tree in the background is in mocha. Then I grabbed a little tree and I'm going to stamp that in mocha. I'm pulling in another kitchen sink stamp stamp set called Icy Pond and I'm going to be using the evergreen trees for a tree line in the background on my card panel. I'm going to be using Memento Cottage Ivy and Memento Bamboo Leaves. Those are the colors that I'm going to be using. And what I'm doing here is I'm stamping off in between each as I'm going down the tree line. So I stamp in full strength and then I stamp off and stamp. Then I stamp in full strength and then I stamp off and etc. Next I have this layer number two, which I am stamping with bamboo leaves. I'm using that same stamp 
on and then stamping off technique. So here you see I am stamping off before I close my misty onto my panel. And I'm just repeating the same pattern that I used on my cottage ivy. Okay, that was full strength. Next, we are going to line the trees up. They're easy to line up. Take our bamboo leaves, stamp off on a post-it note, and then stamp onto the panel. And this last one is full strength. And then our final layer is going to be heat embossed with a sparkly embossing powder. And I wasn't sure, so I grabbed out my color recipe guide and verified that's what I wanted to do. I've got two different kinds of um, sparkly embossing powder, but first I'm going to start with my Versamark Dazzle. Versamark Dazzle is just like a regular Versamark, but it has a little bit of sparkle to it. I like using it when I'm creating any kind of snow. It just gives a little bit of extra sparkle on the very first layer. And for this, I'm doing the full strength all the way across the tree line. Don't those trees look great? So realistic and so three-dimensional. I'm grabbing my panel out of my stamping positioning tool, which by the way, you don't have to have a stamp positioning tool to do multi-layer stamps. I just do prefer it. And here we've got wow embossing powder called wonderlust and it's nice and sparkly if you can't find that you can also use wow embossing powder holographic clear they're both really sparkly i'm just heat embossing the tree line and it really does look like snow i'm also going to do the same thing to the roof of our cabin that'll be my next step i'm going to grab my stamp positioning tool again after I wipe up some of this glitter this embossing powder has a lot of glitter in it okay so we're putting the panel back in the misty and I'm grabbing that most detailed layer and I'm going to stamp that with the Versamark Dazzle get it nice and covered there so we've got a lot of sticky Versamark ink ready to accept the sparkly embossing powder just like I did with the tree line I'm grabbing a piece of paper to catch my extra embossing powder this is scrap paper and then I'm going to heat emboss my snowy cabin roof complete with icicles all right now that we have our roof heat embossed and everything's looking sparkly I'm going to mask the cabin so that's masking paper over top of the cabin. I'm using tumble glass distress ink and a piece of ripped cardstock. And I'm using the edge of the ripped cardstock for the snow. Now I am going to go in later and add some embossing powder to the bottom of the card panel where the snowbank is that is up against the cabin and the snowbank underneath the bear trees. But for the, the snow under the evergreen trees, it actually ends up looking really cool. It looks like a shadow. I don't take and put any embossing powder underneath that part. I just leave it as it is. Here I'm just adding a little bit more of the tumbled glass. And as you can see, it's looking really nice along that tree line. Looks like a great snowy shadow. And I grab a little bit of our Altenew ink, just switching the tops off of my scrapbook.com dome blending tool. And I add a little bit of gray denim or Silver Lake. I'm not sure. Let's see here. This is gray denim. I just didn't think it was looking quite as nice as the shadow underneath the evergreen trees. And so 
I decided to go ahead and just get some sparkly embossing powder, get some Versamark, and go ahead and apply that. Now, this embossing powder that I'm going to use, and I'm just taking a dome blending tool, and I'm rubbing it into my Versamark Dazzle, and I'm applying it to the bottom of the cabin and the bottom of the trees. And this is from Stamping Up. It's called Shimmer White. It's really pretty, very sparkly. It's um, almost silvery. Yeah, it's more silvery than the WOW embossing powder, which is a truly clear. But it does make great snow. So if you've got that, you can always use that for your snow too. Okay, I'm just going to heat this up and then my card panel will be completed. I'm going to layer the card on some matting layers and adhere it to a card base and then this project will be done. Okay, so please check out the information in the description box below. You will find the link to the Mod Squad Challenge. Please enter a card into the Mod Squad Challenge. The theme is Winter Card and I do want you to use some type of snow. Whether you use glitter snow or puffy snow or something that um, is a medium that represents snow. That is what I'm looking for on the cards. So a winter themed card with snow. That's the rule for the Mod Squad Challenge. In order to be eligible, you need to have your card entered. All the information on the Mod Squad Challenge will be over on the Mod Squad Challenge site. I want to thank Kitchen Sink Stamps for being the sponsor, and I want to thank the Mod Squad Challenge for allowing me to be the new moderator. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. That way you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. Here are a few close-up photos of the card that I made. I wanted to do this so that you could get a better look at what the snow looks like. I think the close-up photos also give you an idea of how much depth the kitchen sink stamps stamps bring when you're creating with them, how realistic the um, cards turn out, and how realistic the images look. Thanks again, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.